Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving squares, rectangles, triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. What is a routine problem? A routine problem is a translation problem in which you can write an equation and there is an immediate solution. What is a non-routine problem? A non-routine problem is a problem in which it requires analysis and insights into known principles of mathematics. We can use an illustration, backward methods, and other strategies on how to solve this kind of problem. This is our first problem. The area of a trapezoidal park is 120 square meters. If the lower base measures 20 meters and the upper base is 10 meters, what is the height of the trapezoidal park? How are we going to solve the problem? Yes, you are right. We are going to use the four-step plan. First, we should understand the problem. We should know what is asked. So, what is asked in this problem? All right. This problem is asking for the height of the trapezoidal park. We should also know what are the given facts. So, the given facts in this problem are, it is a trapezoidal park, 120 square meters, the area, 20 meters, the lower base, and 10 meters, the upper base. We already understand the problem. The next step is, we're going to make a plan. What strategy shall we use to solve the problem? Since the park is a trapezoidal in shape, so let us use the formula below to solve the problem. Area is equal to base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 times height. Now let's carry out the plan. We're going to solve the problem. This is our formula. Area is equal to base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 times height. Let's substitute the values into our formula. The area is 120 square meters. Base 1 is 10 meters. Base 2 is 20 meters divided by 2 times the height. So, let's solve first the numbers inside the parentheses. So, we have 10 meters plus 20 meters is equal to 30 meters. Divided by 2, the answer is equal to 15 meters. Bring down H or the height. Bring down 120 square meters. To find H or the height, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 15 meters. So we have here 15 meters divided by 15 meters is equal to 1 or we can cancel this. And the remaining item at the right side is H. To the left side, we're going to divide 120 square meters divided by 15 meters. The answer is equal to 8 meters. Therefore, the height of the trapezoidal park is 8 meters. Alright, we already solved the problem. And the last step is, we're going to check. How we're going to check? This is one way to check your answer. Go back to your computation. Check if the given values are properly substituted to the formula. 
Check also the flow of your competition. This is our second problem. A square lot with a side of 15 meters has a rectangular swimming pool at the center with a length of 10 meters and a width of 5 meters. What is the area of the remaining lot? Our second problem is a non-routine problem. To solve this, we're going to use an illustration. So let's illustrate. It is said that a lot is in a shape of a square. We name this one as figure A with a side of 15 meters. At the center of the garden, there is a rectangular shape of a swimming pool. We name this one as figure B, having a length of 10 meters and a width of 5 meters. So this is the rectangular swimming pool. So as you can see in our illustration, there are two shapes. One is a square having a side of 15 meters and the other one is a rectangle with a length of 10 meters and a width of 5 meters. To find the area of a square lot, we're going to get first the area of figure A and the area of figure B. So, figure A is in a shape of a square. To find the area of a square, we're going to use this formula. Area is equal to side times side. The side of this square is 15 meters. So let's multiply 15 meters times 15 meters. And the area is equal to 225 square meters. This is the area of the square. Next, we're going to get the area of figure B. So figure B is a rectangle. We're going to use this formula. Area is equal to length times width. The length is 10 meters. The width is 5 meters. So let's multiply. 10 meters times 5 meters is equal to 50 square meters. So to find the area of the remaining lot, we're going to subtract area of figure A and the area of figure B. So we have 225 square meters minus 50 square meters. And the area of the remaining lot is equal to 175 square meters. Therefore, the area of the remaining lot is equal to 175 square meters. This is the way how we're going to solve this problem. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And thank you for watching.